Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about GTA 6 and the PlayStation 5 and Next Generation Xbox. So, there has been a recent leak that has come out about GTA 6 and also about these new consoles. And so this one talks about uh, like what the setting of GTA 6 is going to be. And it was a huge pace bin uh, that was posted and is now deleted. But a lot of people actually like got screenshots of it and copied all the text. Um, so now we know what it is even though it has been deleted. So basically what this leaker says about gta 6 is that gta 6 will only be available on next gen consoles so it's only going to be available on the playstation 5 and the xbox anaconda whatever that one's going to be called it's only going to be available on those consoles it's not going to be available on the playstation 4 ps4 pro xbox one xbox one x or i mean presumably i mean of course it's going to come out on pc but we might be, be faced with a, another scenario like we were with gta 5 where we're first going to get you know a copy of the game on one generation and then we're gonna have to wait a while get another copy of it on a second generation and then we're gonna get a copy of it on PC because I mean all in all there's been you know so many copies of that game sold and I think the like the breakdown is about you know everybody has about at least like two copies of the game because I mean everybody bought the game on the, like the 360 and the, the PS3 and then they basically bought the game again when they bought you know a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox one and then a lot of people even triple dipped and bought the game for a third time when it came to PC so I could see Rockstar doing that same thing again and potentially still releasing it on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and then just, you know, a little while later releasing it on the next generation Xbox and the next generation PlayStation. But uh, they say in this pace bin that that's not the case because the game can't come out for the PlayStation 4 because of memory restrictions. So the PlayStation 4 only has 8 gigabytes of memory and, I mean, the Xbox One, you know, not even the Xbox One X, but the Xbox One has you know it's a completely different memory setup and it's kind of a mess but uh even like the enhanced consoles probably wouldn't be able to run it that well but i mean with you know memory restrictions i mean i wouldn't put it past it because we're starting now to get into the era where we're actually finally getting games that are really kind of stretching the limits of the xbox one ps4 and even the xbox one x and the playstation 4 pro in some circumstances like with these new consoles, they're set to be so much more powerful than the current generation consoles. And, uh, I mean, like, there's a lot of games right now that are kind of being developed for these new consoles in mind. And I wouldn't doubt that, you know, ever since GTA 5 came out in 2013, that Rockstar has been hard at work making GTA 6 ever since for the next generation of consoles. Because ultimately, with, like, you know, GTA 5 on Xbox One and PS4, there wasn't, like, a ton of differences. Like, there was, you know, differences, but, like, overall, the game was basically the same it's like okay maybe a, a little bit improved texture quality resolution bumps but like they didn't have to like redesign the game from the ground up to run on these new consoles like the pc version probably more so but the you know the next gen like the the playstation 4 and the xbox one version of the game those ones they didn't really have to do a whole ton for and i mean even like the pc version of gta 5 came out in like what was that like april or march of 2015 so even since then it's been four years since then so I, I can't imagine that they've just been sitting around doing nothing. And uh, I think that for it to come out on the PlayStation 5 and the next generation Xbox is a huge likely thing. Um, but like he says, he says that it's only going to be coming out for those consoles, not the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, because of memory restrictions. So next up, let's talk about the setting for this game. So they say that uh, the unannounced game, GTA 6, is going to be absolutely massive and it's going to take place... Uh, between Liberty City and Vice City, but it's also going to contain missions in parts of San Andreas like Blaine County. So uh, this leak also says that there will be new towns added in updates after launch. So basically we're going to be getting a GTA game that uh, combines like GTA 5, GTA 4, and, uh, and GTA Vice City. And honestly that sounds pretty likely and that would be a huge amazing thing. I mean we've also you know specifically seen with like you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, how big Rockstar's worlds can be when they solely focus on, like, this current generation, but I, you know, if if these leaks are to be believed, and this next generation uh, GTA game is going to feature, you know, Liberty City, Vice City, and San Andreas all in one game, then the map has to be pretty big, and, I mean, 8 gigabytes of RAM probably won't cut it for that, so I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if this does turn out to be true, that, yeah, I mean, it makes sense for it not to run on the current generations of consoles, so... 
Uh, this leaker says that the story should be a standard like GTA uh, adventure. They say in the title, which will make you kind of a drug lord, you'll start as a small-time guy in Liberty City doing odd chores and small-time thefts and eventually work your way to Vice City where you'll join a famous gang. You will be tasked to look after the business in Liberty City until you're brought back to Vice City and soon become the drug lord. And they also say that there will be dialogue similar to those uh, that uh, you had with stranger NPCs in Red Dead Redemption 2. That'll also be uh, in GTA 6. And that was basically it. Like, that's the rumors that we've gotten. But, I mean, hey, that's a pretty, like, substantial rumor that, uh, and it's a bold claim that GTA 6 is only going to be on next gen. And it's going to feature those three specific areas of the game. And uh, I, I think that there's not much more that, like, they have to basically go that direction. Like, there's no way that they can't just, you know, go that direction. Like, they obviously have to have the game bigger than GTA 5, better than GTA 5. And they kind of have to step it up in every, you know, time they do it. And, I mean, you know, GTA 5 released, like, six years ago now, so it's about time for this new game, but if it does come out for this next generation only, then we're still going to have to wait at least another year. So the next-gen consoles aren't set to release until at least 2020, and uh, I believe even Sony, like, kind of confirmed that they're not going to be releasing the PlayStation 5 before April of 2020, so still over a year away before that at the earliest but most likely it's going to be coming out you know october november or so of uh 2020 so almost 2021 so we still have like a year and a half left before these consoles come out and that's basically the earliest we're going to actually see this game either so i don't know it, it it could be a launch title but i would kind of doubt that i would think that it may be you know be a game that comes out most likely in the spring so the consoles come out in the winter and then in the spring in about two years from now is when GTA 6 would actually release. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, GTA 6 is actually going to be next gen only? And what do you guys think about that? Are you guys happy about that or not? And uh, tell me what you guys think about the setting and all these other informations and stuff too. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.